हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम यशेश्वर फ्रॉम बॉटनी डिपार्टमेंट आचार्य नरेंद्र कॉलेज विल बी डिस्कसिंग टू इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स पर्टेनिंग टू फोटोसिंथेसिस रेड ड्रॉप इफेक्ट आर डी ई एंड इमर्सन एनहांस इफेक्ट बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ दीज टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स we should know about some of the important points relating to this experiment which ultimately led to the discovery of two photochemical complexes ps2 and ps1 these points are rde and triple e are related to light dependent phase of photosynthetic process light energy absorption by a pigment absorption spectrum and action spectrum of principal photosynthetic pigments photolysis of water and evolution of oxygen quantum requirement or quantum yield these five points are important so we'll go in the coming slides one by one and we'll cover these these points this is a simple equation of photosynthesis in which six molecules of atmospheric carbon dioxide converted into glucose with the help of light and a light sensing molecule chlorophyll and oxygen is released through the photolysis of water we can also elaborate this e equation uh, the light energy is converted into chemical energy that satisfies the first law of thermodynamics which states energy cannot be created or destroyed but can change one form to another and this ability or this capacity is with the plants they sense the light energy and convert that into chemical energy and chemical energy includes adenosine triphosphate and nadt as to nicotinamide adenine phosphate dihydrogen and in this process oxygen is released as by product through the photolysis of water this conversion is designated as light dependent phase because light energy is required and this takes place in thylakoid the produced chemical energy atp or nadph2 further utilized to reduce atmospheric carbon dioxide into glucose and that designated as light independent phase which takes place in stroma of photosynthetic apparatus that we know chloroplast now next question is that what is absorption spectrum when we plot a graph between absorbance by a pigment and a wavelength of visible range what we see here that optimal absorption peak is coming in red and the blue region and in the green region the light is absorbed in 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 effectively so chlorophyll b and a both absorbs optimally in blue and red range the obtained spectrum is known as absorption spectrum similarly we can plot a spectrum of the activity on that particular wavelength when we plot the physiological response and the visible range of light we find that maximum activity is obtained in blue and red region when we compare these two graph it is quite evident that the absorption and the action is having the same peak blue and red region that indicates that blue and red absorption of light is responsible for particular action or physical physiological action or physiological phenomenon governed by light energy next question is that what happens when light energy is absorbed by a pigment or a molecule 
let's recall a simple uh, chemistry concepts these are showing the three levels of energy as 0 as 1 as 2 blue color is showing uh, the blue light red is red light since the blue li light has a uh, less wavelength the energy is high when electron absorbs the blue range of light it goes to the higher state and event comes back it releases energy in the form of heat or it may stay in the S1 level similarly when electron absorbs energy of red wavelength the electron goes to the S1 state when it comes back it can release elect uh, energy in the form of light that is fluorescence or the electron may emit energy in the form of heat or can stay in a in a another important metastable state or another story that is triplet state which is represented by T and from triplet state when electron comes back to the ground state energy is released in the form of light which is known as phosphorescence so the difference between phosphorescence and fluorescence is that in fluorescence light emission is quick and in phosphorescence light emission is delayed or it takes place at the metastable state or the triplet state or we can say the electron stay more in triplet state now in this uh, state electron has sometimes to talk to the molecules and can participate in a chemical reaction suppose we assume a, a molecule is releasing a electron and becomes a plus it is simple oxidation and this released electron suppose accepted by a B molecule and that becomes B minus the process is reduction so what we see in triplet state oxidation and reduction is taking place that means a chemical reaction is taking place that means a reaction is being triggered by light energy that is photochemical reaction and that is the primary concept or the to take a start in the process photosynthesis now next topic is quantum requirement quantum requirement is photosynthetic product we consider here the evolution of oxygen per number of photon absorbed when two molecules are photolyzed by light oxygen one molecule of oxygen is released four electrons and four protons and the question is that how many electrons or electron rejected by each photon absorbed the answer is one now number of photon required to release one molecule of O2 has to be four as per this question it has to be the four but actual number of photon required to release one molecule of oxygen is 8 to 10 that indicates indirectly that either two were two photosystems are working uh, mutually or each electron is being excited twice now RDE red drop effect we have uh, gone through some of the important points what are the absorption spectrum what are the action spectrum what are the uh, uh, how what happens to the electron when it, when it absorbs energy now we are coming back what is the, what is what is quantum requirement now we are coming to the our main topic RDE that is red drop effect immersion did this experiments the quantum yield versus the uh, wavelength visible wavelength this black curve is showing the absorption spectrum and uh, what we see here that uh, the quantum yield is more or less same in most of the visible range when when we give the light more than 680 there is a sudden decline and that decline is known as red drop effect absorption was there but quantum yield is not increasing so that puzzling experiment uh, remain 
uh, a, a question for many scientists for many years then Emerson after eight years did another experiment which is uh, designated as Emerson enhance effect what he did here he uh, is uh, uh, calculated the oxygen evolution by giving two exposure of light 660 nm and 710 nm upward arrow indicating when we are switching on the light and downward arrow is indicating when we are switching it off this a curve is showing that oxygen evolution by giving the 660 nm or 710 nm both uh, a and b is showing the same amount of oxygen evolution but when we see the 660 and 710 nm light is giving uh, collectively then what we are observing the, the, the enhanced effect of the performance in the oxygen evolution that indicates that two photosystems are working together and quantum yield or the oxygen evolution or the photosynthetic activity is being increased so what what we have seen here uh, there are uh, many important aspects about red drop effect why this experiment is important because that ultimately as we mentioned earlier that ultimately led to the discovery of two photosystems are working together performing mutually to enhance the photosynthetic activity now whatever the experiments we uh, uh, saw in in uh, immersion enhance effect that we can uh, interpret the that is reaction center a photosynthetic team when absorbs the light of 680 or below that the photosynthetic activity is low when we are giving the light to the another photosynthetic team the light of 680 and above 700 nm the activity was low when we are giving both the lights together uh, the performance is high that that indicates that two photosystems are working together and later on this photosynthetic team which was absorbing light up to 680 or below 680 was designated as photosystem 2 and the light which was absorbing light more than 680 or up to 700 nm was designated at PS1 and what we are see seeing here PS2 and the PS1 performing together and showing the effects of immersion enhanced effect or the enhanced activity that's why this was indicating the A in the, in the in the previous experiment this was indicating B and when we are giving both A and B together the activity was enhanced this is our typical JAD scheme that that, that we study in our in our graduation classes uh, PS2 ejects four electron accepted by a, a molecule pheophytin then it travels to ps1 through some intermediates then ultimately that reduces the two molecule of nadp into nadp h2 so the electron which was ejected from ps2 was not coming back to ps2 what creates here it creates an electron hole at ps2 site and makes the ps2 strong oxidizing agent then it compels the water molecule to photo oxidize to release one molecule of oxygen that releases four proton and the four electron these four electrons convinces the ps2 once again and perpetuates the sad scheme and that doesn't allow this electron giving to the ps2 doesn't allow uh, the the uh, electron uh, or doesn't allow the PS2 to 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 halt to co to come to an halt. Thank you, friends. We'll in 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 other class we'll we'll see another lecture. Uh, till that time, goodbye.